Singapore Civil Defence Force SCDF, Regular Officer Captain Kenneth Tay, 30, who died while fighting a ship fire on May 16, was honoured at an observance ceremony on May 20. Paying tribute to him at the ceremony at SCDF's Ubi headquarters. SCDF Commissioner Eric Yap said in his speech that CPT Tay will be remembered for his selflessness, professionalism and commitment. He said, this last fire call for Captain Kenneth remembers his dedication to duty from his years of service with the SCDF. In our one minute of silence, we honour his memory and give our highest respect to our fallen comrade. CPT Tay had joined the SCDF in December 2017. About 200 SCDF personnel gathered at SCDF's headquarters to observe the minute's silence. The ceremony was originally planned to be held at the Parade Square, but was moved to the auditorium due to the rain. In remembrance of the late CPT Kenneth, an alarm rang at 7.10 a.m. across all 23 SCDF fire stations, the SCDF headquarters in Ube, the headquarters of all five divisions in the Civil Defense Academy. On May 16, CPT Tay was serving as a Marine Rotor Commander at the West Coast Marine Fire Station when he lost consciousness while fighting a blaze on board China flag tanker Sheng Hanghua 6. The Marine vessel was anchored at Raffles Reserve Anchorage in the southwest of Singapore. CPT Tay was pronounced dead at National University Hospital that day. Commissioner Yap said at the ceremony that CPT Tay was also a para counselor and career advocate in the SCDF. He said, This speaks volumes of his belief, passion, conviction, and ambition of the life saving force. Commissioner Yap added that the public depends on the SCDF and its officers like CPT Tay to help them in emergencies, which can be a matter of life and death. CPT Tay had studied nursing at the National University of Singapore after graduating from Catholic Junior College CJC in 2011. His professor at NUS told ST on May 17 that CPT Tay had found his calling as a firefighter after graduating. CJC had said in a Facebook post on May 18 that CPT Tay will be remembered for his highly positive attitude towards learning and for relating to his peers and teachers with kindness, sincerity and respect. SCDF noted on May 16 that, between 2018 and 2023, he had aced many proficiency and certification tests that firefighting officers have to take. At the end of the ceremony, Commissioner Yap made his way to the Kong Meng San Fokak Si Monastery at Bright Hill, where CPT Tay's ceremonial funeral is being held. This is the second time a firefighter has died in the line of duty here. On December 8, 2022, full time National Serviceman Edward H. Go died after battling a blaze in a rental flat in Henderson Road. The 19-year-old NSF was posthumously promoted to the rank of Sergeant 1.